Hey there everyone, welcome back to the channel. After a long wait, I have got my hands on Pixel Experience 12 on my Zenfone Max Pro M2. And I've got to say that the experience has been outstanding until now. I'm just loving the experience so much so that I want to use this Zenfone Max Pro M2 over my OnePlus 70 just because of Android 12. That is the level of newness and intuitiveness Android 12 brings to the table. The main reason for me to try out Pixel Experience 12 and make this video is because of articles like this one and the interview that MKBHD had with the Google spokesperson where he mentions that Android 12 has fundamental improvements under the hood that makes even older smartphones faster. Today in this video I'll be showing what's new with Pixel Experience 12 and also share my experience with the same. Starting off with the internet settings which houses the Wi-Fi and mobile network connections which were earlier separated. The notification shade which has showcased in the Android 12 launch has been completely revamped. The icons on the shade are now far bigger than ever before. And to be honest, I really love this look as it feels a lot easier and it is a lot easier to access these quick toggles as they are of bigger size. You also have the brightness slider on the top which is quite tricky to reach when using on a single hand. I would have personally preferred to have it in the bottom but it is what it is. The shade also covers the entire screen which is not transparent and is a pale gradient of the theme color applied which again feels more refreshing to use. Then let us go into the settings through the settings hotkey in the notification shade. The settings main menu has also gotten a minor redesign with settings being bold and big at the top left along with the user profile icon in the top right. And as you can see there are slight animations that are added to make the Pixel Experience 12 feel more intuitive like the wave animation when I scroll down and reach the end of the page. And yes as expected we are rocking Android 12 which has this cool clock animation when you click on it and that you can play around for fun. The security patch as of now is of 5th November 2021 and I am expecting an update uh, soon to match it with the current version. Let us now take a look at the network settings and everything is just as expected. We have a Wi-Fi, mobile network, aeroplane mode, hotspot but most importantly all of this works without any issues in the Pixel Experience 12 ROM. The apps panel helps to manage the apps installed along with choosing your default apps. What surprised me is that there is a dedicated game settings page in the Pixel Experience 12. We get this game dashboard option along with the do not disturb mode for games. Then on the notification page, we can control notifications for individual apps and also save the notifications received using the notification history feature. We can also set priority conversation along with floating icons called bubbles. Now let us talk about battery life. Prior to installing Pixel Experience 12, I was running Pixel Experience 11, which clearly was not smooth, but most importantly was so bad with battery. But now I could easily get to two days on just a single charge on the Pixel Experience 12. The storage page has nothing special to talk about and just gets minor design updates. Next up we have the display settings where we have adaptive brightness, dark theme, night light and other vision settings. Security features have also been improved with the separate security page that highlights the safety of the device. Also now we get the privacy dashboard in the privacy settings page which clearly shows what apps have used, what sensors and what data recently. As you can see here in this location usage timeline where we can see which apps have used my location access in the past 24 hours. Next up the feature which I love the most about the Pixel Experience 12 is material view design and dynamic theming. This can be found on the wallpaper and styling settings page on settings. Here we can change the wallpaper which is what everyone does with their smartphones but here Google has done some tricks to make the experience a lot better. And by the way, I'm just enabling internet to load all these wallpapers. And here we go, we have loads of Google wallpapers loaded back. And the good thing about Material U is that you can play around with the theming to get the most out of Android 12's new features. And as you can see, we have two color themes available at the bottom for the current wallpaper, which is a green flower. And you can choose from either one of the two to your liking. 
Depending upon your selection, the color theming of icons, the keyboard, the notification shade, and the entire UI changes, which in person, while you're using it, is actually good. And then when you scroll further down, you have this themed icon stock build, which is currently in the beta stage. What it does is that it changes some app icons to their materialistic counterpart, which again is so cool. But as it is in the beta stage, not all apps support the same and thus it does not look so cool. I mean, it's half baked, but I get it. This feature will get better with time. And we also get the option to modify the grid size, which is one of the most underrated features to have in an operating system. Now, let me show how material you and dynamic theming works in real life. So I'll be changing the wallpaper to this purple flower from this green flower. And as soon as I load the wallpaper, the entire preview page and buttons around it get tinted in this purplish color because the flower is purple. It's all these finite minute details that makes the experience a whole lot richer and smoother. And then when we apply the wallpaper, we get the customizing options for dynamic theming as we saw earlier below the wallpaper. And this time around, we get four options compared to two on the previous ones. And this basically depends on the wallpaper which you are choosing because this dynamic theming extracts the colors from the wallpaper that you set. So I'm going to stick with the green wallpaper as I personally love the wallpaper and the color theming, the green one. Back to the home screen, when you long press on the home screen, it opens up three new settings. First up, we have home settings, which is basically the basic Google launcher settings like uh, at glance and notification dots. And a general reminder, we also have Google when you swipe to the left of your home screen. We have the widget settings, which has seen some updates with Android 12. And finally, we have covered wallpaper and style, which can also be accessed to the home screen. We also get some nifty improvements like the select option in the multitasking page. And what this does is basically it selects text from the app in screen so that you can easily copy and paste it wherever you want. This is very highly beneficial when you have to copy messages or copy numbers or copy UPI IDs. Pixel Experience 12 altogether makes you feel special and good thanks to the rich feature set that is well implemented which works really well even on older smartphones. For the record, my Asus Zenfone Max Pro M2 launched back in 2018 with Snapdragon 660, 3GB of RAM and 32GB of internal storage. More significantly, it was launched with Android 8.1 and only got Android 9 stable update as Android 12 update was shelved. I'm running Android 12 now on a 3 year old smartphone and that really says something about the optimization done on Android 12. And that is all for this video guys. Uh, one thing which I would suggest everyone do is to experience Android 12 at least once in person. It is a great experience that clearly can just be felt by you when using it rather than looking in a video. Do tell me about the experience after you experience Android 12 in the comments section below and meet you all in my next video.